trust in his ability to detect grabs or anything. And the thing is, you can't sit there and try to block everything, which you can, but then you got that command throw to think about. So that's when the whole mix up game starts up. Yep. So that's, uh, that's pretty ass. Top eight losers. We got NYC Fab versus SCJ Jago. Oh man, this this turned out to be one of the hypest tournaments of the year, man. I think so. Philly tournaments are always yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. This is Summer Jam's revenge, you could say. You know what I mean? I know, right? Irene's not here to spoil things for us. Yeah, so I know E is very is very happy, man. Shout outs to Big E, of course. Big E Gaming. Classic game junkie. Team Spooky. Namco. Atlas. Was that, you know, Atlas was in, was in the mix, right? Atlas donated $1,000 to the KOF pod. Okay, there we go. Mad Cats. Of course, Markman in the building. Shout out to Markman and his crew. Yeah. X system, X systems, right? Access, access games. Oh, I thought it was straight for all that. Yeah, access games. You know, shout out to them. People get those confused a lot. It's Arc systems. I thought it was access. just, I thought it was just chopped, like just short. All right. Okay, okay. NEC 12, baby. NEC 12 and counting. So you will be seeing Spooky on 13. <laughs> yeah, of course. And you will see me in the 13. Of course. You will see Ski in the 13. So here we go. Front is checked. We get it and popping. We got FC Jake over San Wasi Fab. Okay. Good old fashioned New York battle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smart decision here. This is what I like about Andre. Coming in the ultimate, he's actually switching it up finally. Me and Combo have been telling him for a hot minute to start Trish on point in certain matchups, and he actually listened. So now he's actually doing it. Oh, I'm glad. I'm yeah. glad. This is a much better competition, I do believe. Yeah. The name of the game is playing lane with Trish. You want to make it hard for people to hit you. And I think she matches up with Wesker pretty well. Okay, okay, okay. And this is this is Fab's best character right here. Taskmaster, that's what he's known for out here. Yo, I was outside, I just heard the crowd going wild for Fab out there. Oh nice, he gonna get back. That Taskmaster. And that synergy is still intact here when this map. It's with, very clear that he recognizes that Taskmaster is Fab's best character because he's not afraid of Wesker. Exactly, well, that's not true. Not afraid of Dark Wesker. Should be, though. Yeah, of course. Oh, and that's what I'm talking about. Oh, should have popped the cherry. Don't know why he did it. Well, that's why he's not afraid. He probably wouldn't have dropped that task. Would have had it been a Taskmaster combo. Oh, grabbed right well, out. Peek was right there. He's going to defend him. Yup, yup. Two big drops yep, for Wesker. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Will he finish him off? No, still alive. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He could have swam that crouch and be. It would have been over for Oh, my over. God. It's just so scary. Whenever you see uh, Wesker activated, it's like, oh, my God. Oh, and Andre's going to take first game. Jago. And Jago with the initiative right now to, co to, to continue on in the top eight. Fab gotta get hungry right now if you wanna if you wanna stick with it. Alright, alright, keeping that keep away, that keep away. And of course right now Fab is playing a real smart and simple right now, holding that lead. Kuma saved Wesker's life right there. Big drops out here from NYC Fab. This is actually Fab's first placing in a Marvel tournament. Ever since he started playing, so it's a real good look. It's Wesker, man. That's such a threatening character. You yeah. gotta have those combos down pat. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, Trish got body. But it's never over, folks, because you already... Damn. I spoke too soon, commentators cursed. Oh, but missed it. He's commentate his luck. He's dropped every Wesker combo so far. Yeah, dude. I think he's that. I think he's nervous, man. He knows what he's dealing with. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah. Knew it. 
Okay. Now this is very, very dangerous for both players. Anybody can get clapped right now. There we go. Is he going to go for the exchange? Nice. He's going to go ahead and burn it. Safe, safe finish there. He got the glasses on too, so plays out right. Ooh, he could command throw right there. It's one frame. That bears an exchange. But he's already got level 2 X-Factor burn. I thought he was going to try to put Wesker in the back for that level 3 Dark Wesker, but no. No, no, no. He's and then he's going change, get himself some damage. I mean, fast looking kind of right here. It's not too bad, but if Jago uh, continues to play this lane game, it it's might just, be a wrap. It's just the Kuma, no X-Factor. I approve of this choice. He can lame him out pretty easily at this point. Yeah. You know what, Fat does have a lot of meter, man. He should go with Chunga. Okay. Nice hit, though, there. Can get things started here. He can definitely finish off Dante. Okay, nice, nice there. Went with the ball instead of the beam. Okay, excellent choice. It does do more damage. Now, I think this is, I, I think it might be over. Yeah, still so much work for him to make up here against Wester. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he dropped him. Chances drop out of wayside. Tons of chances here for Fab. Oh, and Andre. Ooh. And Fab almost coming back. Oh, man. He got him with a good two, three hits there. He wasn't able to convert to any combos. Fab just kicking himself over that. He knows he let it go. He knows he let it go. But you know what? Give it up for NYC Fab. His first place in the major. Yeah, coming out of Tekken World. Yeah, for real. And he's doing really well for himself. Yeah, that's what I was saying, man. I'm surprised the guy even got freaking second at Evo, dude. He don't play the game no more at all. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. So shout-outs to, uh, to, to NYC Fab on it down. Well, we got a good one here, folks. And this might be a good pop-off one, too. So we got P.O. Balrog. Naked PR Balro, meaning no, no, no tags, no sponsors. It's just PR Puerto Rico. Yeah. Versus UVG, Noel Brown. Huh? So, Noel actually beat Clockwork. Wait a minute, is he Mad Cats? I'm not too sure because I remember. Oh, he's not DMG. That's right. That's right. He's that's not right. DMG. Okay, okay. He's not DMG. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's Mad Cats Puerto Rican Bow Rock. Okay. My face is fixed. My face is fixed. Sorry about that, folks. He is, he is Mad Cats Puerto Rican Bow Rock. Ooh, we got crazy bets going on. Damn, I just turned around and this crowd is packed. There's bullhorn bets out here. Damn, this is rare. Brahim is quiet. He ain't betting. Oh, you know what? So if, they, if that means these guys are playing, we're going to see the classic rematch. Chris G versus Justin Wong. That's next. Lame versus know, lame. Yeah, I didn't know who was playing. I thought PR was going to play Justin or something like that. Okay. Okay. You know what?